Hello everyone and welcome back to the land of stuff that's probably broken but maybe not. As usual the workbench is kind of a mess right now. My camera's a little crooked. Let's see if we can't fix that. Sure, 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 we'll go with that. I don't like how this is looking though. Let's adjust things, shall we? We are gonna adjust, oh boy, well, that's sharper, that's for sure. A little bit, uh, a little bit more uh, saturated too, but it'll work, nonetheless. So what's broken today? Well, I think it's broken today, since I'm fairly sure it's broken. It's this little guy. So this is a Core 2 motherboard out of a Shuttle XPC. It's pretty old, it's oh, vintage 2008, 9-ish, not sure exactly. But, in the words of uh, Abby, it doesn't chooch anymore. It'll power on, it'll light the uh, LED on the motherboard, which is uh... Huh. Well, I used to know where the light was. I don't think that's it. That's not it. That's it. Well, okay. It's in this general dar vicinity. Um, but, and it spins up the fans, and things start to get warm. Pretty warm. So, in theory, something's happening with this. But, when I power it on, yeah. This guy gets warmish. Not exceptionally warm, but warmish. Uh, yeah, all the fans spin. But curiously enough, though, so I put this RAM in it. Just use this good old DDR2. And it warms up, you know. And, and it seems okay, you know. So, I'm troubleshooting it, and one of the big things in troubleshooting is if you have a second one, try swapping it in, see if it makes a darn bit of difference. So, I'm thinking, well, maybe there's something wrong with this RAM. I'm, I'm positive this stuff works because I've used it on this here board, which is another Core 2 board, and it worked fine, but maybe not. So, I swap it in for this RAM right here. Come on, come on. Why does everybody have to do this? Here we go. But, anyways. And this RAM got so hot within about 10 seconds of me powering on the system that I almost burned myself touching it just seeing if it was powered on. So something's clearly gone horrifically wrong here. I still am not 100% sure. I don't think anything's been smoked. It just got hot. But I took this guy out of the case because the case on this thing is tiny. I'll show you how tiny. You can see, this thing is not big at all. It's its its own kind of small form factor, and they're very cool. There's not much else that fits in them, but they're very cool. So, you know, we have that. And so I moved out of the case. And when I finally moved out of the case, I noticed a, few, a couple of things. Take a quick look. Right there. See that? That right there looks pretty darn bulgy to me. And I'm not 100% sure but that guy 4 from the left doesn't look so hot either. So I suspect that something has gone horrifically wrong with a few of these capacitors. So, jumped on the good old Amazon, it's probably not the cheapest place to get parts, but I'll pay five bucks for 30 or 40 capacitors. Um, we'll try throwing some new caps on there and see if that helps. I'm thinking it will. And if it doesn't, I don't care. I wasted 10 bucks, but this is such a cool looking little PC. Maybe, maybe I can I can manage to get another board in this at some point. I mean, the thing is, if you look on the back, the IO shield, I think it comes out. I'm not positive. Yeah, okay, yeah, so it is possible, I'm pretty sure. Let's get this sharp little bugger out. Pull you in there. Come on. I just want to pop you out take a look. It's gonna hurt you. Okay, I guess we're not taking that out. Never mind. Oh crap, I'm trying to 
Oh, you here. Uh, oh, you jerk. Oh, there we go. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so the IO shield comes out for that particular board, so that's kind of cool. So, what we're left with is a pretty empty shell. Now, the only place it gets tricky is up front here in this general area. And the reason there is that's your I.O. There's no, well, most of it at least. So all your front panel stuff is going to there. But, the more I look at it, that may not actually matter. Now, you would lose, looks like you wouldn't be able to get these front panel connectors. So your two USB, your fire wire, and those two audio connectors. Those definitely go through the ribbon cable too. But, the thing is, look at this. Standard motherboard header. Oh, perfect. Well, that's lovely right there. Look. Did that, like, catch fire from the RAM? Because that's about the same place as where it would have touched the heat sink right there. That's lovely. Anyways, fine. it's kind of proprietary, but it's a cool case. It's a cool motherboard. I apparently still, for unknown reasons, still have Core 2 stuff just laying around here. But then again, I mean, look at this crap. I'm pretty sure. No, no. Okay, eh, that's modern, I think. What is that? DDR. DDR something or other. Come on! Yeah, DPC3. So DDR3. DDR2, I've only got a few sticks of left, but. You know. Oh, one other kind of novel thing about the XPCs. This was an interesting idea. So, pretty much, this is the heatsink that goes on the processor. A little bit of a cleaning. You can see that where the fan uh, the fan doesn't get to, but yeah, it pretty much takes uh, heat fence, takes the radiator out. It's nice, it's copper core. It's nice, nice piece. This thing was designed really well, but it takes the heat and takes it out of this, and then the back of the case. Got this little guy. Heat shroud. Some days fits over it. Some days it doesn't. Oh, it goes that way. Yep. Yeah. And there you go. That's how it sits. So it's a cool cooling solution, but. Because of that, it might be a little difficult to put any other motherboard in there. Ooh, touch this. It'll tingle. Where's that thing? 50 volts, 2200 micros? Yeah, that would tingle. Anyway, but <clears throat> you get the drift. Might work. Might not work. I really have no idea, but I don't have anything here that can test capacitors reliably, nor could I do it in circuit, so what the heck. We'll spend a few bucks, order them on Amazon, 